this is Mike Bot. Today I'm going to be doing a designer feature. So I'm going to start doing this every month or every other month, depending on which 3D printing designers are interested. And basically I'm going to feature their products. I'm going to print them, show the pros, the cons, the flaws, the good, the bad, all that stuff basically. And it's going to give the community a better understanding and broader view of basically all the work that goes into doing 3D print designing. So today I'm going to be starting with the 3D print bunny. And uh, before I get to that, I will just mention I previously did a couple of videos for uh, print and place fun who is on cults 3d i'll uh link the videos in my description for that and he basically focuses on software and uh, generating your 3d product using his software 3d print bunny on a completely different level different style uh different skill it, incredible work she's probably one of the i top I want to say like 50 best creators out there today and that's why I want to start by showcasing her products and her stuff so I'm just going to go ahead and start with her website here so we have over here I'm just going to grab my cursor grab some arrows so right here we have her website so her website right here is 3dprintbunny.com.au because she's in Australia so that's her main website. And on the site, you're going to basically see uh, all her products, explanation of her stuff and what she does, how she does it and why she does it. I'm not going to go in depth on that. You can go ahead and visit the site and check it out yourself. But I will start out with her gallery. So as you can see, she has some really cool and unique stuff that no other designers do. Like this stuff is incredible. Look at this. So this thing here, those are individual 3D printed lines and it makes basically the prints look like they're floating in the air, which is incredible. Then you have stuff like this, vases, very, very nice, interesting. Lots of designers do those. Hers are a little bit more unique, more artistic. You have her wall art right here, really nice as well. And then you got some more really intense and crazy stuff like this. Look at this. The amount of work required to design this, I, I can't even begin to describe. But more importantly, your printer's capabilities to print this perfectly, that's on another level. And that's why I'm doing these videos. So I'm going to showcase a few of her stuff. I'm going to print them, go through the settings, the coloring process, and then show you the time lapses on how all that stuff works on my printers. And hopefully you can replicate that with your printers as well. Now these videos will be specifically on the bamboo printers because that's what I'm running. So I have the A1 series, P1 series, and X1C series. And I will run these on all my different printers using AMS units as well. So I'll just scroll down a little more. You see some more neat designs here, little villages, a little bit of everything. So check out her gallery. It's pretty neat. Now we go over to printables here. So this is... A 3d print bunny right here and as I mentioned she's in Australia I'm on the Canadian side I know a lot of you are in the US the UK all over the place but um, basically you can support her by joining the club on printables right here I don't know how much it costs this will be my first time seeing it uh, so $5 a month, not bad. And I'm sure she's got commercial. Yep, $10 a month, you get a commercial license with her. She does have some stuff on SDL flicks that are included with her collaboration with them. Uh, they're nice. If you have an SDL flick subscription, it's one way to get her stuff for free. Now me personally, I'm definitely going to be printing these butterflies out. These look like a challenge and a half. And that's going to be one of the first things I print from her products. I also have a few other files that I'm going to showcase shortly, but before I get to that, let's just scroll through here. Like, look at this thing. Wow. That's insane. Now I haven't actually seen this file, so I don't know if it's a print in place or multiple files, but <laughs> looks like fun to print. So you got some simpler designs, some nice creative, oh, there's a Canadian one. Hmm. 
I'd have to ask her for this. So this one here looks pretty neat actually as well. Uh, I'm gonna just keep it here just so I can mention it there. And then you got Swinging Carousel, which is pretty freaking cool. So that's the printable stuff. And then you have um, her things, and this is where you can become a member as well. Um, a little bit more expensive on things, but she's got way more stuff to choose. And she even gives you codes here to get discounts on her stuff, which is nice. She also does have a Patreon. So make sure to visit her Patreon as well. I'm going to link her Patreon, her Facebook page, and everything in the description. So check those out. I'm not going to go through every single page. I just want to do a broad overview of her products and just show you how insane and detailed this stuff is. Here's another thing I think I want to print, the Valentine's letters. Valentine's Day is around the corner, so is Mother's Day. So maybe I'll do a couple of prints like that. Look at this New Year's string thing here. Wow. This is one of her levitating stuff. So these strings here, I've printed stuff like this before. Don't drop it. If you drop it, they will snap. And they are difficult to print. They're very, very strict settings. It's a good stress test for your printer as well. Anyway, lots of stuff on her web pages. Check them out. Once again, links are in description. Support her. Uh, if you want to support me, join my subscription services. I just started a Patreon. If you're a 3D designer, I have a specific Patreon page for you guys as well, so you can be featured on my YouTube channel as well. So make sure you check those out. I'll link it all in my description. So now I'm going to go ahead and start with the files that I have uh, obtained. And uh, those are going to be the files that I will be printing and demoing on this video. So basically the ones I've grabbed are the Butterfly Mural, Customizable Valentine Day Hearts, the Lotus Flower Mother's Day Bowl, Skeleton Feather Bowl, Twisted Star Bowl, and the Valentine Heart Ornament. And like I said, I want to start with the Butterfly Mural because this thing looks insane. So she even includes images here. Yeah, this is, this is going to be fun. So she gives you the dual color files, and then she gives you the single color file. So everything's neatly organized in her packages too, which is really nice. So in my case, I'm going to do the dual color files. I'm just going to hit the 3MF right off the bat. And let's just open that with Bamboo Studio. And I'm going to open up her instructions as well here. So basically, open the string file with one box file with yes to load, okay. Make sure your print settings as wipe while retract box unchecked. Okay. Basic instructions. At least she includes it, which means she's, she's tested this stuff out on like SD Alflix, <clears throat> who doesn't really test everything out. That's clearly not the file I just opened, so let's get that out of the way. Where are you, butterflies? There it is. Okay, that's not a good start. Let's try that again. So for those of you that watch my videos, you know how I, how I am. I'm very raw, honest, very transparent with my... Um, basically very transparent with everything I say. So I'm going to load the rest of these here in the dual color files. But I just noticed something interesting here. She has a strings file. So what is this strings file here? Mm-hmm. Okay. I see. Okay, so I have an idea. I'm gonna delete everything here and I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna grab box one and the strings. So to highlight both of them, box one and strings, click control as you click them both and click okay. And then load them with multiple parts, yes. There we go, problem solved. So there we go. Basically, I think the way she's done this, it's to allow you to have dual colors going in. So why is that important? Well, look at this. Now I want to color the butterfly purple. I can't. I'm getting all the strings. It's a pain in the butt. 
see that's a major pain so i see what she's done very very smart i like that so let me just undo this i'm going to delete this and reload everything here so i'm going to start with box one so again i'm in the dual color files you do the single color one and it'll just load everything as is and it's going to be one color So how do I want to do this? If I do dual color. Okay, so let's try this now. I'm going to do dual color just as a test. Because I feel like there's going to be a lot of filament changes if I make this dual color. So let's try this Quick color here. And I'm just going to grab my coloring tablet. So I have my coloring tablet here. And I am just going to try to move my microphone out of the way for a second, just so I can color this. So in case you're wondering, this is what I'm doing. Yes, this tablet is incredible. Okay. Uh, I did not need to do that. Erase painting. So let's go with a purple butterfly for a second. I can't really hold the tablet up in the air while I do this. It's too complicated. So I'm going to put it down and try this without it. I'm just doing a test here. I'm not actually going to color it like this. So let's say that's how I want it done, for example. Sure, okay. Control Z. And I'm just going to slice that. Yeah, the damage is pretty insane. So it's 8 hours and 68 grams of filament times 12. It's going to be a lot of waste. Let me think. Okay, and then let's just compare it to this one here. Two hours. Mm, okay, I think I am going to do this as a single color print. So this one will not be multicolored. This one will be a single color print. So let's do this. Delete you. And then go here. Go back to the single color files. And there's nine boxes. And let's rotate everything for a second. Okay. So now what I'll do is I'm going to go to my X1. Let's do it with the A1. Because I want to see what the A1 is capable of. So I will resync my colors here with what the A1 has, transfer that, Bamboo series A1 0.4, transfer, transfer, and the first butterfly is going to be purple, and I'm just going to do these one at a time, so three walls, 15 gyroid, sure, 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 slice plate, 86 grams, not bad. And I'm going to send this directly to my A1 right now. Get the time lapse checked on. Two and a half hours sent. Okay, so this one is box one. It's been sent to my A1. Now let's do a new plate. I'm going to grab box two. Arrange. Go over to my P1S. Resync the colors. Save that. And this one is going to be. First, let's change that to P1S0.4. Transfer. Right click, change filament. And this one is going to be red. So let's slice that. I'm 
gonna send that one directly to my P1S. Enable AMS by leveling time lapse, sure. All right, so that's two boxes going. I'll do seven more shortly. I wanna save one printer for another print. I'm gonna go through all these prints. It's gonna be at least a three, if not four part video. But, um, but at least we got one style going. So next, let's look into her Lotus Flower. So let's see what this thing looks like. Ooh, this is intense. I actually know exactly what color I want to make this. So I want to go full size here. That was Bamboo Studio. And this one's going to be printed on my P1P. Wow, 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 look at this thing. So um, you don't want to print these with supports. This is a very fragile print. Uh, what's the error I'm getting here? Manifold edges. All right, let's ignore that. So P1P 0 0.4 device. We'll go with P1P 2. And resync the colors here. P1P 3, uh, my P1P 3 as I call it is a PEG exotic filament 0 0.6 millimeter nozzle only printer and that's what I've converted it to so that one will not be used for these prints. So on my P1P I know the colors are wrong at the moment but I know number three is right. So we're going to change it to number three which I believe is a dual tone silk. So for strength I'm going to boost this up to three. I love how she's already done all the settings here for us. That's nice of her. I'm going to do detect in the walls here. And let's see what that slice is like. Loading regions. That's what I was worried about. Hmm. Okay, let's see what supports look like with this one. I'm gonna go with tree and slice. If they start to kind of, if they start to kind of get in between the uh, the little lines here, I'm gonna have to print it without supports. Take a chance. Okay, I'll let that finish slicing. While that's slicing, let's go back to the butterflies for a sec. And see what the printers are doing. Running calibrations. All right, and this is why you do not want to use supports for her prints. Garbage. Don't use supports. So right now, I've uh, while well, that was slicing forever, uh, I've almost been doing this movie or this video for thirty minutes now. I went. I did the update on my firmware for two of the printers. Um, Unfortunately, I messed up the colors on one. I'm going to go do a quick video on my phone and include it on video one. So basically, this was supposed to be purple, but it's printing in gold, but whatever, gold is nice. And then on my P1S, this one is printing red like it's supposed to. So the reason I brought this up is my P1P that I was going to do here, the colors are actually... This one here is actually generic silk. And that's the one I want to use. Generic PLA silk, assuming I have enough filament. There's only about 200 grams in there, give or take. And then I put a backup here, which is bamboo metal. It's actually green metal and that one's actually white so I'm gonna resync this um, did I take off supports yes I did um, let's change this here right click change filament to the silk uh, this was an accident I didn't mean to click boolean okay slice plate 
Now, while that slices, I'm going to try a really crazy experiment. And I hope this crazy experiment does not end up being a waste of filament because I'm about to use very, very expensive filament for this experiment. Oh, it's only 129 grams, so go ahead and print. So now we'll get this one sent to Pia, um, to MikeBot P1, P2. Uh, send. Confirm. G code, the assets fine. Okay. Now for my crazy experiment, which is going to be on the 0 0.6 millimeter nozzle. This twisted star bowl, I'm going to print it out of wood infused filament. And I actually mean real wood fibers infused in the filament. That's why it's going to be expensive experiment if it doesn't work at a 0 0.6 mil nozzle. So that's all I can do for now is I can, I got four prints going. The butterfly ones obviously get to need seven more prints at different colors. Um, and then I have all her other ones. So that's why it's going to be at least a three part series. We're 30 minutes in and I haven't even scratched the surface on 3D Print Bunny. So once we get this sliced and sent, I'm going to go do a quick little uh, video on my cell phone included in this video. I did everything, uploaded today's January 23rd. Hopefully, hopefully I'll have this uploaded by 8 p.m. today. And then I'll start video 2 tomorrow. Video 3, Thursday or Friday. And that should wrap up the series. Unless she wants me to do more files. Talking to you, 3D Print Bunny. Alright, I'm going to try a crazy experiment for her. I don't know if she's done this before, but here we go. 0 0.6 mil nozzle. Move that over to... Come on. So usually I do this on my desktop. My desktop is a beast of a system. It's insane. It's a super computer. I hand build all my computers. Um, I recently got a gaming laptop and it's not as fast, so things are chugging along. It's I'm not used to this slow speed. Yeah, I know, spoiled. Usually I click, I get a response 10 seconds ago kind of thing. Hmm. Okay, it's back online after the firmware update. I will just adjust all of this. Oh, just happened here. See what I mean? It's give it a second here. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Come on, computer. All right. So um, if you haven't seen my wood uh, infused filament video, check it out. You'll know why I'm using these settings after you watch that video. Oh my God, this is so slow. What's going on here? I have a feeling the memory is full. I wanted to upgrade this thing to 32 gigs of memory and I didn't. It came with 16 only. Like my, my main computer has 128 gigs of memory and 40 some core CPU. Like yeah, there's, there's the problem. 94%. What's killing you? Oof, Bamboo Studio, you're a hog. Firefox, Mojave, okay. Let me close one of the screens on Bamboo Studio. Maybe that'll speed things up. So I finally have my wood filament selected. Oh, for the love of God. I accidentally did it on the wrong window. How did that even happen? Okay, let's try this again. Let me close that other window off because I don't need it right now. Pretty sure I sent it to the printer. Did I send it? Only one way to find out. Okay, let me go back to this one. We'll go PLA carbon fiber here. Confirm. Okay, prepare. Sync. All right, 3D Print Bunny. Let's hope this experiment works. So generic PLA carbon fiber. 
aka wood infused filament strength is gonna be three because it's gonna be actually four it's 0 0.6 mil nozzle four walls is ridiculous overkill triangles um what else here i think that should do it let's slice that plate so while that slices i'm just gonna make sure i sent that other print over to mike bot too yes i did that one will be done in eight hours all right so here's the wood filament experiment using a 0 0.6 mil nozzle i'm sorry for the slow speed it's i think it's time i upgraded this laptop's memory all right let's send it off to mike bot three remember this is wooden fuse it's not carbon fiber and we'll make sure time lapse is on. Confirm. All right, so we're already over 40 minutes in. I'll probably try to edit this video to be 20, 25 minutes. That's video one. I was hoping to get a lot more done in this video, but time flies and uh, it's a lot of work to make these videos. It might end up being four videos instead of three. Um, we'll see. Either way, uh, so we've done some basic settings, slicing using her default settings. Um, once those prints come out, I'll make another video with more products. We'll print everything with her default settings. If it looks great, we don't need to tweak them. If there's issues, I will tweak them, readjust the settings, print, and share everything with everyone. And I will share them with the 3D Print Bunny as well. So as I mentioned, I'm going to use my phone to go over the 3D Print Bunny stuff. I don't know why I'm showing people this. but uh, So anyway, here's the uh, one I mentioned in dual color. Uh, like I said, it was doing a firmware update. So that's the dual color print. Then we have one of the butterflies here. We have another one of the butterflies here using the A1. And then we have the wood infused filament one, which hasn't started yet. So test one is done. I had issues removing this one from the bed, got destroyed. And this one I removed, but it's slowly starting to fall apart because um, you can see up here, it's barely hanging on. So if I touch it, they, they fall off right away. So I need to make some adjustments on my settings. I will do that in uh, part two of my videos so here's a quick update on this print i'm redoing the butterflies with new settings i will uh, update video two with the new settings i've used but already they look significantly better and here is the other butterfly that's being redone so uh my new settings just based on initial impression they look better but i'm not sure we shall see but either way, if it does work out, I will have that updated in video too. And most importantly, the wood experiment. So something that's really neat about wood filament, it smells like burning wood in a 3D printing room, and I love that smell. I don't know about the rest of you, but the smell of burning wood just is it's comforting. And my entire print room right now smells like a nice... I wouldn't say rich wood, but like it's got a nice wood burning smell. And this is what this print looks like so far. All right, so stay tuned for video two, coming soon. That's it for part one. I hope you all enjoyed this video so far. If you uh, have any questions or comments, leave them below. Uh, I've included 3D Print Bunny's pages below, as well as my pages. If you wanna to subscribe to my Patreon, it's just starting out, still new, new, but there will be lots of stuff coming, including 3D printing lessons and more. Uh, once again, questions or comments, leave them below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. That's it for now. Thank you all for watching. Mike Bot, out.